Let's go check out the interior now of the EV6 because it is a really special space. Okay, guys, coming into the interior of the Kia EV6, to do so, you come up to these kind of pop-out door handles right here, and simply just pull open. Really simple maneuver right there. And you can kind of see this really amazing space Kia really did in here. It's one of the nicest kind of newer interiors on the market. It's really nice combination seats. Right here, it's a perforated leather in the center. This kind of like faux suede on the sides, more leather. Of course, your nice headrests that are adjustable to the door panels really quick. Pretty plain, but we do have a nice blend of kind of softer materials. Everything does feel really premium in here. Meridian surround sound system. And of course, this gigantic display right here. I think before hopping into the front, let's go take a look at the back seat to see the leg room. This is actually is in my position right now, so we should be okay. Shut the door really quickly. And again, to open the back door, it's the same kind of maneuver right here. Now, one thing to notice is you do see kind of you have a sloping roof line here that does not really affect um, your rear headroom at all actually so coming into this rear space it may seem a little bit cramped at first but hopping inside as you can see i have plenty of headroom i'm super comfortable and you have a lot of legroom because of that low format battery pack there's no hump in the center of the vehicle so it is really nice and kid did play around with some nice patterns in here as you can see on this kind of like center console piece i think that looks really cool and again, these seats in the back, of course, this GT line also have the kind of nice perforated center leather piece, that kind of like micro suede material on the side. Again, the materials in here are really nice for what this vehicle is being priced down, around the $40,000 to $50,000 range, depending on which version you get. This one is coming in a bit higher as it is the GT line. Um, this is going to be sitting right below the full-on Kia EV6 GT, which will be coming with more power and all that stuff later on. As it is an EGMP vehicle, you also do get rear air vents on the sides. I've seen this in the... Um, Ionic 5 and the Genesis GB60, which are its platform mates. Let's go hop in the front end because I think this is a really beautiful space and I'll give you a little bit more of a closer tour of what's happening in there. Okay, everyone. So we're now in the front end of the new Kia EV6. Just move the seat back a little bit so you guys can get a better view of what's happening over here. This is really cool. When you do move your seat back, it shows you the animations of the directions you're moving your seat in on the infotainment system. That is awesome. So this um, interior is awesome. A lot of people don't like this kind of like single spoke steering wheel. I think it's pretty nice, pretty sleek. You can kind of rest your hand here while you're driving. Of course, I always have two hands on the wheel, but it is a really nice steering wheel, very functional as well. As you can see on the back, we have these two paddle shifters. This is to adjust your regenerative braking. Of course, there's no gears it is an electric vehicle um so that's what those functions are for and everything's very simple and well laid out on your left hand side you have really easy controls to access your um, kind of charging port um to hold a different position for your um, power trunk parking brake traction control um, which does not go completely off in kia honda vehicles and some interior lighting which is a really nice, quick, accessible feature over there because a lot of people have to dig through menus for that. And I really love this center console. This is one of the coolest center consoles, I think, in the industry right now. It is a floating center console style. And I really like how Kia didn't put um, the entire, like, open center console piece because I think I found those vehicles, the first stuff, to roll around. Here you have a nice storage bin, some extra charging down there. I think a cigarette outlet as well, 12-volt power outlet. Yeah, that's awesome. Another USB and a USB-C port over there, which is really nice to see. Over here we have a wireless charging mat in the center console. Console. And this is really cool floating kind of turning on button to start your EV6 with this kind of brushed material up here. I believe it's plastic, but it looks like metal. Um, and it doesn't feel cheap either, which is really nice. Really, really nice and quick controls here. Ventilated and heated front seat. That is awesome. Um, and of course, we may not have um, full climate controls separate from the infotainment system, but there are kind of some quick buttons right here for your climate controls. And I believe the rest is all accessible through the infotainment system, which is okay. Um, but it is really easy to use and it's really simple. And the screen is absolutely stunning. It is curved, actually. I don't know if you guys can see it or tell from the camera, but it is a curved display. Of course, you have your full driver's display. You do have a full heads-up display over there as well, which is not on right now. But this, um, Kia and Honda have been doing some really great infotainment systems, and this just keeps it going uh, with this, <laughs> this beautiful infotainment system right here. Of course, we have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. You can see this one has 91% of battery, 235 miles of range. I believe you can get around like 270, 260 in this all-wheel drive version. I know some of them the rear wheel drive models are able to get up to 300 miles of range but um that's going to be all depending on what kind of driving style you're doing of course coming down to the center console just finishing this piece up we do have air i guess drive select mode so you have your reverse neutral drive from this kind of rotary dial and of course park is right in the center parking cameras all around as well which is really nice and uh, you have some parking um warning assist right there center console is pretty wide 
nice and deep. And again, all the materials in here feel super, super nice. I am pretty impressed with this vehicle. And one of the biggest trends, of course, in the modern automotive industry is ambient lighting. So as you can see, we have full on really nice ambient lighting going across the entirety of this front dashboard. Makes it feel really premium in here. That continues down to kind of the door pins and everything else over there, which is awesome. So thank you guys for taking a quick tour on this, this Kia AV6 right here. Um, stay tuned for a lot more content and videos coming soon. I hope you enjoy.